Hi guys and welcome back here to Drone Emotion, a channel where we do drone videos and where we cover the most recent and most relevant drone news. So my friends, we're back here once again with a brand new video and probably the most exciting one we've had, I will even dare to say, in the last year. And that is, that, and that is because we have some breaking news on the DJ Mavic 3 and most particularly on the camera specs and the size of the sensor that the new DJ Mavic 3 will be having. We just received information of how big the sensor will be in the Mavic 3. We're going to be sharing with you that info as well as we got confirmation of whether or not there will only be one version or two versions on the Mavic 3. And in addition to that, we're also going to be talking about what resolution we might be seeing on the Mavic 2 and the latest info and leaks that we have till today. Today's speed is going to be one which you will not want to miss out on. But before we get started with today's video, if you're new to the channel, welcome here and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because in this channel we will always be the first ones to bring in the most recent drone news no matter what. So if you want to keep up to date with the latest news and updates on whether the on whether it is the Mavic 3, the Mini 3 or any upcoming DJI drone, well guys this is the place to come for that and also we're currently in the road to 10,000 subscribers. So if you're watching today's video and you're not subscribed to the channel yet, well I invite you to go ahead and join the Drone Emotion family so that you can help us get to that goal which we're really not that far away from guys anymore. So with that being said, why don't we just go ahead and get started with today's video which is going to be extremely exciting. Well, we have not had this kind of leaks on the Mavic 3 till today and I mean what we have for all of you in today's video is definitely something extremely extremely exciting and something I will even dare to say revolutionary. So let's get ahead and start talking about the models that are going to be available with the Mavic 3 because if you guys remember with the old Mavic 2 we had two options to go for we had the Mavic 2 Zoom which was a nice drone we have a 1 over 2.3 inch sensor which was really good and had optical zoom and then DJ gave us the option of utilizing the same frame but just with a bigger camera. It was a 1 inch sensor camera, it, it utilized Hasselblad color grading technology and in addition it had a variable aperture. So with the Mavic 2 we had both of those options. Now since the release of the Mavic 2 we've been speculating on whether or not there will be two versions once again available with the Mavic 3 but we just got confirmation today thanks to our good guys over at Drone DJ which are a pretty reliable source and they proved that in the past and they have some really good connections and really good sources over in China and thanks to them they have confirmed to us that the Mavic 3 will only be available in one version there will no longer be a Zoom model so that is what we can expect on that department so will there will only be one option guys there will no longer be two and i think that's a good idea for for the mavic 3 because back in the day with the mavic 2 i think it was a bit confusing for a lot of people on whether or not they should get the mavic 2 zoom or the mavic 2 pro but i mean i think with this new mavic 3 that problem is going to be solved and i think this will result in a lot more sales and with the Mavic 2 that was a whole a mess because probably there was a lot more stock of the Mavic 2 Zoom than of the Mavic 2 Pro because a lot of people went ahead and went for that one inch sensor camera. Now that is what we have right now regarding how many models there will be so only one. Now let's go ahead and talk about what we have regarding on the camera of the Mavic 3 because we also have some brand new information regarding that and it's some really big piece of news. Now with the old Mavic 2 Pro which had the best camera out of between the Mavic 2 Zoom and the Mavic 2 Pro. It had a one inch sensor camera, as we've already mentioned. It was able to shoot 4K 30, 20 megapixel images, which were really good. We had a variable aperture. Now, with this new Mavic 3, we were definitely expecting to see a big upgrade from what we find that on the original Mavic 2 Pro, especially since it been, it's been over three years since the release of the original Mavic 2 series. So 
we're expecting to see a big change, especially in the camera department. And well, we just got confirmation today of how big the sensor will be. And let me tell you guys this, this is going to blow your guys mind. And that is because with the Mavic 3, we're going to be having a micro four thirds sensor with this new Mavic 3. So without a doubt, I am extremely excited to see this because this means we're basically going to be having the same sensor size as what we have right here with this Inspire 2, which is basically the creme of the creme when it comes to drones. I mean, the fact that we're going to be having a sensor this big in a foldable drone, I mean, this, this is something never heard of and DJ looks like it will become the first company to fit a micro four third sensor on a foldable drone and I couldn't be more excited. So that means this drone will be having obviously a much bigger sensor but for all of those people that don't know what a micro four third sensor is, well it is a much bigger sensor. It is basically twice the size of the Mavic 2 Pro's one inch sensor. So you can only imagine how good the low light performance of this new Mavic 3 is going to be. I mean I'm pretty sure this is going to blow is going to blow a lot of people's mind. Now let's talk about resolution and what other things going on with this micro four third sensor. Well, we have received also confirmation that the development on the micro four third sensor has been a little problematic. Why is this? Well, according to our source, it looks like it is not because of how big the sensor is, but because of the Hasselblad technology that they're trying to pack into the Mavic 3's camera. So that is what Leech is having a little bit of trouble with. Now, as of today, there are only three final prototypes. We still don't know which one this is going to go for and we don't have the specs on all three. But what we can tell you is that from the past, we got confirmation that one of the prototypes had 8K 30 frames per second resolution. So that's something huge. Just imagine that guys. 8K 30 frames per second resolution with a micro four third sensor. I mean, this is something that no one will be able to compete with. I mean, that is just absolutely mind blowing. Now, obviously the resolution is not the most important thing. Obviously the sensor is mo more important, but the fact that we're going to be having 8K, that's just mind blowing. What can I tell you now? What is confirmed right now is the sensor size, micro four thirds, not the resolution yet, but it looks right now that the resolution will most probably be 4K 30 based on the previous prototype that had that resolution. Now, what other things can we talk about regarding the Mavic 3 and more specs? Well, do expect to see a much improved flight time with the Mavic 3. We do know, according to our latest leaks and images that got leaked thanks to our guys over at Drone Excel, which we have these images right here on screen. So those are the latest images that we have on the Mavic 3 and according to them, it looks like the battery will be 50% bigger. That means that the flight time will technically be somewhere around 40 minutes. That's what, that's what we're currently hearing. Now it could change, especially due to the fact that this drone is going to be carrying a micro four third sensor, which is going to be quite heavy and also the Mavic 3 will most likely weigh under 900 grams due to the European regulation so what can I tell you we're gonna have to keep our fingers crossed for that 40 minute flight time but I think something more conservative will be around 35 especially considering how big the camera on the Mavic 3 will be guys so that is how big the sensor camera on the Mavic 3 is going to be, without a doubt, this is absolutely mind-blowing. What can I tell you? Now, a lot of people recently have been saying will it have 360 degree rotation, just like what we have right here with the Inspire 2. At this moment in time, that has not been confirmed, so I will not expect to find that on the Mavic 3, but DJ could always surprise us. Now, I want to talk about when we could expect to see full images leaked of the Mavic 3. In our last video we said to you that it looks like the development of the Mavic 3 is about to be done and finished and according to our sources, the guys who are drone DJ, they confirmed to us that the development of the Mavic 3, they DJ should have the finalized product 
by October the 15th. So that means probably after that date, somewhere around late October, early November, we can expect to have the first full images of the Mavic 3, guys. So make sure you stay tuned for that video. That's going to be one which you're not going to want to miss our own guys but those are the latest leaks on the Mavic 3 without a doubt the fact that we're getting a micro four third sensors on the Mavic 3 is just mind-blowing what can I tell you let me know that down in the comment section down below what do you think of the Mavic 3 having this new size sensor and what other things you would like to see so those are the latest leaks on the Mavic 3 guys I hope that you enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching and see you tomorrow with a brand new video drawing emotion signing out